Color. It's all relative. Part 2. What is color? The simple question. What is color? Color is a function of light, objects, and an observer. Now, from an everyday perspective, we tend to see light as a function just of objects. But that's not true. We tend to think of color being associated with objects because, quite naturally, when we change an object from, say, a banana to an apple, we expect the color to change. Change from a red delicious apple to a Granny Smith apple, and again, we expect the color to change. But color is a lot more than just a simple property of objects. For example, if we keep the object the same and the observer the same, and we change the light source, say from daylight to a tungsten light bulb, the color sensation changes. And here we can see an example. Same Granny Smith apple, one illuminated with something like daylight and the other with something closer to an incandescent light. Daylight tends to be relatively well balanced, tends to be cooler. The apple will tend to appear more on the bluish and greenish side. Take the same apple, illuminate it with a tungsten light bulb, and the apple will have more of a reddish, yellowish, orangish appearance. The same is true when we change observers. If we keep the illuminate the same and the object the same, but we change the observer, the color sensation changes too. Human eyes and digital cameras don't react to color the same way. Color is not about the light, the object, or the observer in isolation. The sensation of color is about all three at the same time. Change any or all of them, and the sensation of color changes. It gets even more complicated. Perceived color for objects is also affected by other nearby objects. And many optical illusions rely on this fact. One quick example is the Bezold effect. We have red lines superimposed over white and black squares. The red lines over the white square tend to look lighter and less intense. Those over the black square tend to look darker and more intense. The reality is that those red lines are one fixed color. They all have the same color and they don't vary. The difference in the intensity and the lightness that we're perceiving comes from the relative, comes from the relative positioning of those red lines with the background colors. So this will be a recurrent theme throughout this video series. Color is relative. Color is relative to the light source. Color is relative to the objects in our photograph. Color is relative to the observer. And our perception of the color for any object in a photograph is also related to the color of other nearby objects and the color of the background or the foreground in our photographs. In part three, we're going to look at the most important component of color, lightness, and why it's so important to our photographs.